If you have a parallelogram, you can call one side the base. The side not touching that is called the opposite side. And the length between any two opposite sides is called the height. The formula for the area of a parallelogram is base times height, but let's see why. The triangle that's formed on the right could be moved and the area would still be the same. And if I move it over here, it would fit in perfectly if I drew it perfectly. And now we have a rectangle. But the area of this rectangle must be the same as the area when it was just a parallelogram. The area for a rectangle is length times width. We can let our length be b and our width b h. So the area of the rectangle is base times height. But because the area of the rectangle is equal to the area of the parallelogram, that means the area of the parallelogram is also base times height. If you have a triangle, then you can call any side its base and there are two vertices that are touching the base. You find the vertice that's not touching the base and draw a perpendicular line to the base. And that line is called the height. And now we can copy this triangle by putting the short side parallel to the other short side and the long side parallel to the other long side. And the area of the parallelogram that would be formed would be base times height. But the area of the triangle is only one half of the area of the parallelogram. So it's half of the base times the height. It's half because it's one out of the two triangles that were used to make up the parallelogram. If you have a trapezoid, then you can break it up into a parallelogram and a triangle. The formula will be base 1 plus base 2 over 2 times height, where base 1 and base 2 are the two sides that are parallel to one another and the height is the perpendicular distance between those two bases. But to see why, the parallelogram that's highlighted in yellow, that would just have area B1H, but the triangle, it would have B2 minus B1 for its base. Why? Because the entire trapezoid's base 2 is made up of base 1, plus an extra bit. Well, you would find out how much that extra bit is by subtracting base 1 from base 2. And then it has the same height as our parallelogram, so we multiply by h and also by 1 half. Then you can factor out the h and you get b1 plus b2 minus b1 over 2, but then you can multiply b1 by 2 and divide by 2, that's what's in red right there. So that way you have a common denominator, and then you add the two tops, and you get 2b1 minus b1, and that just gives you a single b1. And then you still have plus b2 over 2 times the height, which is exactly what we were trying to prove at the top.